Hello, I'm Neo Gamo. I'm from Baltimore City, Maryland, and my diagnosis is bipolar disorder type 2. My first hypomanic episode came several years, uh, many years after I was um, initially diagnosed with depression. So I started getting, you know, fixated on certain ideas. Uh, one of them was, um, you know, I, I don't wear hats. Um, you know, I don't wear hats on a regular basis. Um, and then suddenly it was really important for me to collect fancy Kentucky Derby style hats. I had no place to wear them. I have never, you know, expressed interest in anything like that, but suddenly like suddenly I needed to collect them. It was really important. And then, you know, with my my hat fixation, I found out there's an organization called the Red Hat Society. This is a society I think for women over 50 years old. Uh, they wear red hats and purple clothes and they socialize together. And I said, "You know what?" I'm gonna join this society. I'm not gonna get something like, something stupid like age stop me from doing what I want. So I almost joined this society for women over <laughs> uh, 50 years old that I wasn't even eligible to join. But I want to show people who don't know what it's like um, to, to just give an example of what, you know, someone with mental health condition can look like. It's important for me to, to show that one diagnosis doesn't look any particular way, you know, I, I've met many people with the same diagnosis and I've been surprised myself that, you know, our conditions, even with the same diagnosis, can manifest very differently between different people. I think in, in the Asian community, I, I would love it if we were a little more open about, you know, mental health issues. And I'm sure, you know, it's, you know, there are exceptions and it's different depending on the community or the family, but I would love it if we can be more open and not be ashamed and, you know, not see it as a flaw or a weakness. You know, we all have issues and we all want to find ways to deal with it and that's just, that's all it is. NAMI helped me to have a community that I was able to check in with and see once a week um, and to be able to, you know, maybe share, you know, share our experiences, share what's worked for us, what hasn't. Uh, I don't find that at work. I don't find that in my usual friend group. So that's really helpful. With NAMI, you're not alone because you're with a group of people. Even if they're strangers, you have a group of people who support you and who want you to succeed, who won't judge you, who, who know what it's like to be down, even, you know, and be down repeatedly, but they'll help you to get back every single time. You know, I think in a lot of places in life, we don't get repeat chances to do over. You know, we may screw up at a job and, you know, not be able to work there anymore. We may, you know, um, you know, burn, burn bridges with friendships or other relationships, but it's a place where we get what it's like to fall down and try to get back, try to get back up over and over again. With NAMI, you're not alone because you're with a community that gets you.